In the previous lectures, we have learned several techniques for outputting information that we provided to the program. For example, displaying alert dialog with a message, printing a message to the JavaScript console, and writing to the current page. All of these are not very useful in a real-life application because just about every application that we interact with have different ways of getting information from its users. For example, register for an account, sign in, create an online profile, create a blog post, and so on. There are a number of different ways of capturing dynamic input from users. For instance, when user fills out a sign-up form, you can capture what they typed. Browsers also provide a simple way of capturing input with JavaScript. Let's see how it works. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below, unzip it, and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Strings. And then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Here I also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, remember to link the capture.js file. Using the prompt command is one of the ways to collect information from a site user. For example, you can ask a question and get a response. In capture.js file, start by typing prompt, followed by a set of parentheses and semicolon. As I mentioned earlier that, Having this parenthesis means that this is a method. We call it a prompt method. And from now on, we can call all of these commands that we already learned as methods, such as alert methods, document.write methods, and console.log methods. We can use the prompt method to ask a question from a user. Like the alert method, we provide a message as a string. For example, how are you? I'll save the file, refresh the page. Notice how prompt displays a dialog box with a question. Much like the alert method, but there's also a text field where I can type. I'll type, I am fine, and click OK. Now the question is, what exactly happened to the text I just typed? As it turns out, the browser captures the user's response and gives it back to the program. In programming speak, we can say the prompt method returns a value. And we can store that value in a variable. For example, I'll create a variable name its status and assign it the prompt method. I also display the value of this variable to the console. Save the change. Refresh the page. And answer the question as I am fine. After I click OK, notice how my answer I am fine appears in the console. The prompt method gives you back the user's response or the text they entered. Here we are using the console to see what's inside the status variable at this point in the program. Again, that is the power of variable. So the prompt is a quick and easy way to capture user input. And in a later courses, I'll teach you how to capture user input using HTML forms.